So just some general guidelines for when you're trying to solve a formula for a specific variable. First thing we always want to do, multiply on both sides to clear fractions. Clear fractions. Or decimals. We want to work with whole numbers if we can help it. Then we want to collect like terms. Get the apples together, get the oranges together. Get the variable terms on one side, constants on the other. Then we want to separate the apples and oranges. Then we want to isolate the variable, get it on its own. So the next example is the formula for the circumference of a circle. When I think about circles in real life, I think about pizza, which is pretty awesome. Unless you like, you know, deep dish in the corners, that's my favorite. But hey, we'll just pretend we like circle pizza for this example. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So pi is kind of a variable, but not really. It's a constant, but we label it as a variable. Because pi is 3.14 blah blah blah, never ending, never repeating. So to write it out is not practical. So this is just kind of our representation for pi. It's not a variable, but we can treat it like one. So as I'm solving for r, r is being multiplied by both 2 and pi. So I need to solve for r by dividing both sides by 2 pi. You could do it individually, first divide by 2, then divide by pi. But the same thing is going to happen. Because again, same thing, divided by the same thing is gone. We're left with r is equal to c divided by 2 pi. All right. Next. In math, we talk a lot about the average of some numbers. For example, calculating your grade. You can figure out your average test grade. That counts for 60% by doing something like this. So we want to find the average of three numbers, capital A, and the three numbers, little a, little b, little c, is given by the formula there. So the average is adding the three together, dividing by the number of numbers that you have. We want to solve for little a. So I want to dig him out. But he's inside of this large fraction, so I need to take care of that first. So we need to multiply both sides by what to get rid of the fractions. Again, that's the first thing we always want to do. Get rid of the fractions. So LCD of both sides, 1 over here and 3 over here, is 3. So if I multiply by 3 on both sides, it'll cancel over here. We'll be left with A plus B plus C. So now we've dug out A from that fraction. We want A on its own, so we need to subtract B from both sides and subtract C. I'm just going to do it all in one step. And A is now isolated. And again, generally when we salt for some variable, we want to write that thing first because we like to read left to right. So little a is 3 times the average minus the second and third numbers. So last two for you. Solve for D, the diameter of a circle, in the formula for circumference. Then in the last one, average of four numbers, I want you to solve for C. So in that first one, we're trying to solve for diameter D. He's being multiplied by the constant pi, so we need to divide both sides. Same thing, divided by the same thing is gone. D is equal to C divided by pi. And in the last one, you're asked to solve for little c. So again, first thing that needs to happen, we need to dig it out of that fraction. Multiply both sides by 4. So I'm looking at 4 times the average is a plus b plus c plus d. We're trying to solve for c, that guy, so we need to subtract the rest. So I've got 4a minus little a, took care of him, minus b, took care of him, minus d is equal to little c. And again, generally we like to see what we've solved for written first. Nice. So again, clear out fractions and decimals, combine like terms, then 
isolate the variable term, get the constants together and the variables together, isolate the variable.